boys and girls, it's Mrs. Murphy and it's time for another second step lesson. In our last lesson, we learned about noticing other children who don't have anyone to play with. And then you practice empathy and thinking about what it feels like when you're left out. Then you practice inviting other children to play with you. What could you say to invite someone to play? That's a great idea. I know I would say, hey, do you want to play with me? Using that kind voice and a nice gesture often makes people feel wanted and included. Then you learn that when you play with people, you get to know each other better. You usually have a pretty good time. Today, we're going to talk about fair things to do when two people want to play with the same thing. To get started, we're going to listen to the Fair Ways to Play song. Let's listen. <laughs> that song as much as I did. Let's review the three ways you can play. You can share, that means playing together. You can trade, or you can take turns. Let's check out a story so we can learn a little bit more about playing fair. Here are Matthew and Fiona. They go to the same school. Fiona has been playing with the school's only two big dinosaurs for a long time. Matthew's been playing with the three little ones. He really wants to play with a big dinosaur. How do you think Matthew was feeling right now? Yeah, he does seem a little sad. How did you know? You're right, just look at his face and think about the situation. Matthew's sad feelings give us a clue that there is a problem. Let's say the first step for solving problems together. Say the problem. Hmm, what is the problem? You're right, Matthew and Fiona want to play with the same toys. Let's say the second step together. Think of solutions. All right, pretend you are Matthew. Think of two things he could do. Well, we did learn in our song, they could share by playing together. We also learned they could trade. Maybe he could give his three dinosaurs in exchange for her two dinosaurs. Is it fair if Fiona keeps him from playing with the big ones? You're right, that's not fair. Why do you think it's not fair? You got it, Matthew's not getting a turn. The big dinosaurs belong to the school. Other students should get a chance to play with them. 
sharing, trading, and taking turns are all fair ways to play. They also make it more fun to play together. Well, Matthew uses self-talk and says the problem to himself. He thinks of some solutions and he decides to ask if they can play together and share all of the dinosaurs. Fiona thinks about it and says yes. She likes having the little dinosaurs in the game and she has fun playing with Matthew. All right, friends, I brought my dear friend puppy dog. Hi, friends! To show you how we can play fair with one another. Watch. La 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 la. Miss Murphy. Yes, puppy dog. Would you mind if maybe I had a turn? Well, sure. Here, you have a turn. Oh, thank you. La 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 la. See? It was that easy. He asked nicely, and I let him have a turn. In today's lesson, you learned the three ways to play fair. Do you remember what those are? You do? Great. Let's say them together. You can share, you can trade, and you can take turns. Today, I challenge you to practice one of those fair ways when you're playing today. I hope you have fun playing. Bye, friends. If you liked this video and want to see more, don't forget to like and subscribe.